How do guys, John here, just another little rant in the car while I'm away from my desk for a bit. Right, uh, going on from uh, yesterday and the day before's Russia video, and I put a post up on Facebook yesterday as well, and what I was asking was, one of the things that stands out is the mainstream media on the Ukrainian side of the argument have been using old photos and clips and things from conflicts and disasters that have got nothing at all to do with uh, what's happening in Ukraine. And I asked the question, why would they see fit to keep wanting to do that when if Russia have done all this damage to Ukraine, they should be showing genuine pictures only. You know, they should never take clips from computer games or clips of bombs going off that were in other cities or countries around the world that have got nothing to do with it and then saying that they are because that's lies that is basically and it's a shame shame on the mainstream media yet again for lying and continuing with propaganda now somebody mentioned that it looks like somebody has um, taken the locations of about eight or so zones where Putin's bombed and cross-referenced it to a list of bio labs that may or may not have external to Ukraine influences and finances for example America or Britain or whoever might be paying something towards them for certain things and it appears that those bio labs may very well be um, a problem to Putin and it looks as though if he strategically bombed just those um, bio labs, then why can't the mainstream media show just the actual bomb sites, the actual damage, rather than opting to show something from another country that was from years ago? Because what we do is we go onto the mainstream media's websites and we see the pictures and clips that they're showing and we download the picture to your computer or to your phone and then go on to Google and type tin eye, T-I-N-E-Y-E -E, and it'll take you to tin eye's uh, uh, web page and you can look up photographs to see where they've been used before or whether their first appearance is recently now because of what's happening in Ukraine and a lot of these photographs and clips have been turning up that they've been from years ago right why does the mainstream media see fit to keep using artificial and and fake news when there should effectively be plenty oh so i've got this lorry across there should be plenty of photos to use from what has actually happened and it just a thought on my own part this is just an opinion piece so don't go getting me censored people or whoever it is or the algorithm have the Western um, media seen fit to want to use fake news because they don't want people to see that it's only bio labs that have been attacked? Is that what's actually happening? What's this car doing? He's going to have to come back across. Come back across, mate. There's a lorry broken down. There you go. I'm trying to undertake everybody then. There's a lorry in the slow lane and we're in two lanes. There we go, yeah, lorry broken down. But that's what I think, guys. It's just a short little video asking the question. I believe that they can't just show the actual damage that Russia have done because it would show a pattern that relates directly to these eight or so bio labs. That's, that's the bottom line. I think that that's what's happened. Oh, no, it's a great big haulage thing that's having a... Oh, might have fallen off his trailer. Oh, dear. oh no, and Laurie's hit it. Anyway, so yeah, just uh, pop some comments in. If anybody finds anything else out, I think somebody, and I'm looking for this, if anybody's got information on it, where somebody cross referenced the bomb sites in Ukraine with the bio lab locations and found that they all match. If anybody can find me that information, then drop a link in the description in the comments or um, if you go over to my telegram page I'll put a link to the telegram page in the description to this video as well so if you want to go and join on there and share it about there's about 300 and something members but I mean I'd like to grow it and I've just uh, I've just gone back past the 10,000 people on this um, YouTube channel again so thanks for all the extra subscriptions from recently where am I going I'm going in here oh shit in hell Every, there's people everywhere. Let's go in this way. There we go. Let's go in the back to front way. 
Right, I'm being naughty now. I'm going the wrong way around a uh, one-way system. Let's go straight into here oh, and go round to get some coffee. Sorry, guys, ranting. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Pop some comments in. Try and find out where these bio labs versus the uh, bomb sites are, and uh, let me know. Thanks, guys.